Hello, my name's Sarah and welcome to my studio in Dundee and today I'm going to show you how to uh, start on a rag rug project. So a lot of what you do with rag rag rugging, half of what you do with rag rugging is is preparing the material um, and if you've got a kit then you might not have to do this part which is great. I basically need to cut it into strips first so a good tip when you're cutting your strips is to fold it as much as you can because it just um, makes it a bit quicker to cut it. This is quite thick wool so I won't be able to fold it that much. Um, <clears throat> and then you need some decent scissors and you're just literally going to cut strips like this. So I've got, I've got my strips like that and then I'm going to need to make them into smaller, smaller bits of wool because I'd like to show you how to do this if you haven't got any of the, the kind of uh, tools. Um, you can just use use your hand, um, wrap it round like that so that's fairly uniform and then cut at the top, cut at the bottom and you've got your strips and they're fairly uniform. So you can, <clears throat> you can either decide to cut all your fabric into strips first or you can kind of cut as you go. You've got your strips so then you need a piece of hessian so that's what this is going to be your kind of backing material and you want to decide what kind of shape you want to um, what kind of shape rug you want to have. So this one's going to be round. The thing to remember is that you work from the back. Back in the day, you, people might have used an old peg or something to, to basically just prod a hole into the hessian and then prod the, um, the strips of material through. There are different ways of doing rag rugs. You can pull it through with a different tool, you can hook it through with a different tool, um, but I'm showing you the prodding way today because it's probably the easiest way to learn rag rugging and it's also, you don't need a tool, you could, you could literally use a pencil. So you'd literally get your hessian make a big hole. The brilliant thing about hessian is that whatever size hole you make, if you've made a mistake, you just kind of pull on the grain of the fabric and it's gone. So um, don't be shy about just making a great big hole in the hessian because it's going to make the whole process a lot easier. Um, and then you get your strip of fabric and you just want to poke it through. So you've poked it out onto the other side like that. And, and then right next to it, probably kind of, you can see the tiny little grains um, of fabric there. A couple or three spaces of fabric, make another hole next to it and then pop, pop the fabric through. And there you are, that's your first kind of, it's not a stitch, but it's kind of like a stitch. That's your first one. Um, so then I'll show you with the pencil just so that um, you can see that it's, it's quite doable. So you're gonna count a couple of grains of fabric, um, maybe three, because this, this material is quite thick. Um, so that means you can leave larger spaces between each um, kind of prod that you do. Um, if you've got thinner space, uh, if you've got thinner material, then you need to put your each bit of material. You need to put them closer together so that the hessian can kind of hold it in tight. 
Um, so I'm going to go three spaces next door, make a hole, get my fabric and push it through. You might need a hand underneath the other side just to pull it through. As you, as you push down, you can use your other hand to kind of just grab under. Um, so that's one side through and then just pop your fabric over the hole, push it down and pull it through. So there you see you've got your, your next um, stitch. So you basically carry on doing that. Um, for the whole rug, <laughs> that's that's it basically. Um, when you get them all together, they look lovely, and you can't see any of the hessian, and it's it's really quite tight in there. Um, so you don't want too big a gaps between each strip of fabric. At the same time, you don't want them too tightly together either, because otherwise that will kind of warp warp the hessian it won't kind of it won't lie flat anymore um, it'll be all bumpy so um, once you get going you'll get a feel for how how the fabric's sitting and how making a great big hole just makes it quicker and easier um, just like that and if you make a mistake like I say the hessian is very forgiving so you just take your strip out and you just pull your fabric and you can start again. You can make much smaller, much smaller things. Um, this is something that I made ages ago, just like a little brooch. So you literally cut yourself a round piece of hessian, <clears throat> do, your, do your prodding and stick a pin on the back. Um, and you've got a little brooch or I've seen people make flowers out of them um, you can make cute little animals um, anything like that really traditionally these rugs were left without a backing um, you just literally leave them like that put them on the floor you can make um, a wall hanging or something like that if I'm making a wall hanging I might just just kind of back it just for neatness but if it's a rug then I don't I just leave it and I'll just show you on this edge I'm just gonna do a very simple hem I'll just fold it over once and I'll fold it over again and I'll just pin it um, and then I'll get um, a good chunky needle and some twine maybe um, or just some strong thread and just sew, just sew that hem in place. If sewing seems like a bit too much of a faff, then you can um, use glue. You could use hot glue gun or fabric glue um, and just glue the hems together and it would still do the same job. I think that might be everything. So be imaginative and use anything you can you could use uh, paper bags or plastic bags or literally anything you can cut up into a strip and shove through some hessian then you can you can have a go with it um, and uh, yeah enjoy okay nice to see you bye bye I just want to show you how to use this hedgehog kit that's been put together for you. Um, so the things that you've got in here are, you've got your little hedgehog body and you've got a bag of cut up strips. They've already been cut up for you. So you literally need to just get a strip you've got a, a prodder it's just a pencil but that's all you need just a reminder you start prodding from the back so you need to turn your hedgehog over 
So you're pushing the material through the hole like that and then putting, putting another hole next to that and popping that through, grabbing it on the other side and there you go. But when you start it might look a bit bald um, but once you've been going 10 minutes or so you'll start to see that it's, it's going to all hold quite nicely and um, look quite cute. If you've got a patterned fabric then it's good to kind of put it pattern, pattern side down when you're prodding so that it's pattern side up when you turn it round. So starting from the back just a few kind of strands along, pattern down, poking it through, grabbing there. So that's your first row and you're just going to keep keep going and he's just going to look quite cute um, and spiky with all the different material that you've got there. Um, so I hope you enjoy, hope you enjoy doing that. Okay.